our Now Platform Vancouver Release video series. I'm Emily Walker, and I'm part of our IT Operations and Management Solution Consulting team. Today, I'm going to go over a major feature release for your configuration management database called Unified Map View, which brings together the legacy dependency map and the legacy service map into one workspace with the new user experience. We'll get a chance to talk about what this is and what this could help bring to your team. So let's jump into it. As always, here's our safe harbor notice. To remind you that this presentation may contain forward-looking statements that reflect the current beliefs of ServiceNow and are based on the current information available. These forward-looking statements should not be relied upon in making purchasing decisions. So what is the unified map view within our CMDB workspace? Well, the unified map view combines the best of two powerful views that we had been using previously, our dependency view and our service maps. And these views really show us the key technology relationships that enable your businesses to function. The unified map preserves the power of the dependency view for having the ability to create multi-level graphics of related elements and to filter those elements to show only what's the most relevant. It then also seamlessly blends in logical elements from the service map view, like web services and APIs that are critical to understand the full context of how the service is constructed. And then taking that a step further, it expands the ability to show detailed breakdowns of related incidents, changes, and alerts on a separate pane, allowing operators, admins, and agents to view them in all of their full business and technical context. And so why did this come about? What was the business need? And that's really revolving around having a unified map of your IT infrastructure that can help to drive operational efficiency, minimize risks, facilitate strategic planning. So with unified maps, you're able to really deliver up to the minute a comprehensive view of the full entire IT landscape. And again, this really helps to enable quick and informed decision making. It also plays a crucial role in supporting strategic initiatives such as digital transformation or cloud migration by providing clear visibility of those interdependencies and potential roadblocks. The CMDB workspace and CMDB unified map view are really targeted for your CMDB administrators, but also agents, operators, any of your system administrators, or any business stakeholder with a strategic or planning role. The Unified Map is currently available from and with the latest version of the CMDB workspace, version 4.0. Please note that this does require Vancouver. This plugin, along with all other, are available to the ServiceNow platform owners and can be found at store.servicenow.com. Please make sure you're keeping your plugin updated for the newest features. So with that, let's see a quick demo of Unified Map. We are in our CMDB workspace. A couple of things. Um, I'm just going to use the intelligent search to find a specific service map that I know that I already have mapped to show you more of how this unified map looks from that perspective. So again, I'm going to use my intelligent search. I know that my service map is called order status. So I'm just going to hit enter. And right away, I can see, again, using that natural language query, this feature was released, um, I believe, in San Diego. Um, but again, using natural language query, we can quickly search um, keywords of things that we know that we might have in our CMDB. So specifically, the one that I was looking at right here is order status. So I'm going to go in here and kind of the same things that you would have kind of thought to see, but we're going to skip um, kind of all of this, the details of this particular order status and look at this from the new unified map view. Um, you see that you still have the option for the dependency view, but for the unified map view, we're going to go right here. And so a couple of things that we're going to start to notice right away, really the first thing is kind of this animation that's really having you focus kind of on that center, that, that node right there. And we can see maybe starting from the right here with this panel, we have all of the attributes of this application service. And um, so we're looking at this kind of from a, multiple different levels here or different layers. Um, so we'll, we'll come back to the attributes part, but come over here to the map filter here. 
And this is really that new unified experience where we're saying, show me more than this, just the application dependencies or show me more than just the service map. Um, so now maybe I want to see more of those underpinnings from our common services data model. Maybe I want to see the business side of this, um, of this particular order status service. So we have all of these different layers of filtering that we can really start to bring in or pull out to what makes sense to us. And then we can save those presets. Um, let's come back in here and start to look at more of these navigation um, tools that we have available to us. So one of the other things, if you've ever worked in Flow Designer, you might be familiar with this. Kind of down here at the bottom, we're looking at that mini map. Um, and so we're starting to see some more of these platform capabilities at least start to be shared out through the workspaces. Moving up here, again, this is really your, your vertical layout mode. And we can come in here and we can zoom out or we can zoom in and we can go home and that'll really take us back to that particular configuration item that we had searched for the, um, in this case, it was that order status service. Um, we also have the ability to maybe if we want to see this all on one screen, we can do that. We have the ability to quickly export a map. Um, you'll notice right here, I clicked on export map. It's going to take a couple seconds, but then it downloads this map in a PDF version here, which makes this really handy when you want to maybe share these out or export them. Um, to your team here. A couple other things that we can do. So currently there are two layouts that are released with our CMDB workspace, this unified map view. And so we have these right here. We can see our radial view um, that kind of changes it from that vertical view that we saw for just a minute ago to this radio uh, radial view. So currently, again, we only have two modes available as of today, but this is something the dev teams are working on and making more available. So again, this is, uh, you can see again, this pulsating icon of uh, this configuration item, which is our mapped application service for order status. Kind of the same thing that you would be used to in the dependency map um, would be seeing those list of attributes where this, um, how this service was mapped, who the owner is, what its criticality state is. Here we see this business criticality is set to most critical. We also see our entry points and then any of the life cycle stages or operational states, any of those other key pieces of attributes or key pieces of data that we would want to know. Each time we change over one of, you know, click on a different area of this map, we have the ability to see different attributes. Um, so, for example, in this one, we're seeing that relationship type consumes, consumed by. We're also able to really see if we have anything like related alerts or who that owner is. Um, so we can hover over there. We see have related alerts. We see I have more related alerts. And if we did want to go into those, again, we can just click on that particular configuration item and come over here and move from our attributes um, down to our related items tab. And we see here that we, we do have some active incidents um, open on this particular configuration item. The other part down here is if you had any changes, you would see um, you have the ability to pull out any changes and see those right there, as well as any of those other application services. So um, lots of new things coming with the unified maps. You can see down here that we have a timeline um, this is something that we would have been familiar seeing within our service map. So hopeful that as we continue to expand on this um, through unified maps, more capabilities will be introduced. So with that, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video.